7 News is on your side tracking Labor Day weekend travel. AAA says if you're driving tonight, hold off for about another 45 minutes. Craft is, is expected to be relatively lighter after 7 p.m. Tomorrow, you'll want to avoid driving between 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. The best time to hit the road is after noon. If you're flying, TSA says this may be a record breaking travel day. Look at this. All the flights in the air right now. This is Flight Aware's map and you can see a lot of people are out and about. 7 News is Jay Korf is live at National Airport to give us an update on the wait time for TSA. I see some people not too bad right now, Jay. Yeah, Victoria, so five o'clock there was almost nobody here, but we're going to pan off and things are starting to pick up here at six o'clock. And as you said, expected to be a bananas travel weekend. Chick, take a look. So if you're headed to the airport, you definitely want to get here early. Getting away this Labor Day weekend may prove time consuming, especially if traveling by air. TSA has been in existence for 23 years. And of those 23 years, the top 10 busiest days ever have all happened this summer. And according to TSA and various airlines, this may very well be the busiest Labor Day on record, with some 17 million people traveling from yesterday through Wednesday. The line actually not as bad as we were expecting. That's because Amy Fuller planned ahead and got to National Airport just before the afternoon crush that typically runs from 2 to 6 p.m. That's why we planned our trip accordingly. We're trying to leave a little earlier, come back really early on Monday so we can kind of maximize our time. For planning purposes, TSA expects pre-check security lines to last 10 minutes or so, while regular lines closer to 20 to 30 minutes. So a TSA spokesperson gave us a, what sounds like a common sense tip, but if everybody did this, we would get through security lines so much faster. And that's before you actually get to the line, get all the things that you have to get out of your pockets or on your person, maybe a pair of shoes or a belt, get those into your carry on before you get up to security and things move much quicker. Now I'm sure that the weather is gonna be a concern for folks who are traveling, be it by rail, by car, by plane. For more on that, we go to the wonderful and amazing VJ. How are you doing?